How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is talk to you all about something that many here in the gun community as well as conservatives in general have faced for quite some time and that is big tech censorship. I have personally had uh, my YouTube channel, I've had videos deleted, I have had channel strikes, I have had videos demonetized. Uh, I have been in Facebook jail so many times I cannot count and I'm sure that many of you guys out there are uh, just in the same situation that I have been in. Recently there was a ruling that just came out and you can see the date on this article from April 5th uh, and you can tell by this particular website that this is not necessarily what we would consider a right-wing news source. This is NPR, National Public Radio. Typically, they are not known to be friendly to conservatives. But what this article talks about is a recent ruling by the Supreme Court, particularly the uh, statements by Justice Thomas, I am a big fan of Justice Thomas. I do believe he stands strongly for the original intent of our Constitution, and he has shown it many times over. What this ruling does is, within the ruling, it basically uh, talks about the banning of different groups, different people from social media, Facebook, Twitter, things like that. Basically what Thomas has done is he has opened the door for some action by Congress that could really play into our favor in many ways. Basically these big tech companies, if they don't like you, they will delete your channel, they will kick you off of their platform without any explanation whatsoever. Um, if any of you guys have followed uh, Steven Crowder, you know, Louder with Crowder, he has been in an ongoing battle with YouTube over his channel. Uh, he has been basically demonetized, he's had his channel demonetized again. And so who knows what's going to happen there. James Yeager, another favorite of YouTube as far as the banning goes. James Yeager recently came out on Instagram and posted a video talking about how that YouTube has now demonetized his channel again and that he expects them to delete his channel again. So that's why this ruling may be in our favor in some ways because what it is going to do is change how the way that uh, big tech companies can interact with people. Basically what we see uh, in the ruling from Thomas is that he basically scolds these big tech companies. And right here is the quote from him. Uh, it changes nothing that these platforms are not the sole means for dis distributing speech or information. A person always could choose to avoid the toll bridge or train and instead swim the Charles River or hike the Oregon Trail. But in assessing whether a company exercised substantial market power, what matters is whether the alternatives are comparable. For many of today's digital platforms, nothing is. Okay, so he is very critical of the way that these social media companies are targeting people. Uh, this case stems from where Trump had actually blocked some of his followers back when he was in office. Uh, some of the people that were following him, he actually blocked them on his Twitter account. And there was a ruling basically that struck down that, that basically said that he needed to uh, allow those people, but how? But since he is no longer in office, he's a private citizen again, uh, the courts basically ruled this as a moot case. However, the lower courts wanted to allow the ruling to stand where it would still give these platforms the ability to ban and, uh, you know, to do whatever they wanted with people. However, this ruling is one that can have a lot of effect on that. It basically is a signal to Congress that they can step in and pass some legislation that could change the way that, these, that people interact with these. For example, 
if your electric company doesn't like the fact that you are a member of a certain political party, they cannot shut your power off because of that. All right. If tech companies don't like the way that you or the political party that you are a member of, they can currently they can go in, they can shut you down, they can basically lock you out of your own account, and you have no recourse. What Thomas is doing basically is signaling signaling to Congress to say, look, you know, you can change this. You can take action to change how these big tech companies can influence the people around them and that how they interact with people. Uh, you know, these big tech companies, these big social media platforms, they are becoming the new public square in many ways. The digital platforms that are out there, while there are other alternatives, the big guys dominate, and it is extremely difficult for anyone to get a foothold in this market. And we can see here another thing uh, that a lot of these people are talking about. They are afraid of how this could affect them. If there was t Title 230 reform, things like that, it's going to force these tech companies to allow conservative speech on their platforms without censorship, without the bias that is out there that we currently see uh, there is too many occasions to where a conservative will be limited they will have their content removed they will be blocked for no reason whatsoever uh, we've seen this back before the election even news organizations you know back before the election look what twitter did to the new york post they suppressed one of the oldest page per companies in the country from sharing an, an article they did, it, a legitimate article. They locked them out of their own account and would not allow them to share that because they wanted to influence the elections. And this is one of the big things that liberals do not like. They do not like the fact that something like this can open the door for conservatives to be able to get a foothold. And I think that there is a good opportunity here for us to build upon this to uh you know to get it to where our voices can be heard you know this would be a good chance a good opportunity for you to contact your legislatures uh, your representatives and let them know that you want them to take some kind of action against these big tech companies over how they are limiting people's speech okay they cannot pick and choose the way that they have been there's a lot of people say that it's a private company and things like that it's easy to make that argument when you're talking about utility providers in some parts of this country as well you know there are a lot of areas that there are not necessarily public services that are you know in my around my area it's tva you get into some parts of the country you have basically private entities that supply utilities to people within those areas okay they still cannot simply cut you off because they don't like your political views and it's kind of the same thing with the way that these tech companies uh should operate you know that's how they should operate if they're going to claim to be a uh, avenue of free speech then they need to hold up to that and they need to be held accountable when they are showing a lot of the bias that they do. I recently had to go through a 30 day ban from Facebook over the fact that they went through a lot of my older posts stuff from over a year ago and for some mysterious reason then decided that they are not uh, in line with their community standards while at the same time they cannot tell me exactly what standard those posts violated I guess sometimes the truth that they don't want to hear is a violation of their community standards. YouTube is the same way. I have had videos on this channel that have been demonetized in some cases multiple times. I have appealed them. They would get remonetized and then later on they would be demonetized again with no explanation, none whatsoever as far as what rule they violated. Even videos that I've done similar to this, they have gone in and they have uh, demonetized them. But anyways, guys, this is just something that I wanted to talk with you all about. I think that it is important for us to contact our legislatures and try to encourage them to step up and take some kind of action to end some of this insane 
bias, some of this insane uh, double standard when it comes to these social media companies, these big tech companies. I think that there are grounds for antitrust uh, things that goes on. Basically, as many of you all know, uh, anything related to the internet, think about it. What is the first, some of the first big companies that come to your mind? Google, of course, is one of them. YouTube, you know, which is owned by Google. Then you have Facebook. And those three entities alone, even though YouTube is owned by Google, they basically dominate a significant majority portion of everything that we see on the internet anyways guys thanks for watching check out the rest of the videos on the channel let me know your thoughts on this down below check out all the links down in the description be sure to subscribe visit my website at boomsticktactical.com and we will see you next time